Hey everyone, Chris here with Collier RV in Wadsworth, Illinois. Today I'm going to show you a brand new 2022 Winnebago Micro Mini uh, 2108 FPS, the FLX version. So this is um, the new Flex line from Winnebago. So this is designed as a really high efficiency off-road, uh, basically a premium travel trailer. So I'll get into what's in the FLX package, but overall this is your 2108 FPS. This is the number one selling Micro Mini. Nice walk around queen bed deep slide out, uh, really nice big shower, and comes in at about 4,300 pounds. So really nice towability and size, only seven wide, so these tow, excellent. Um, but we'll start up front. So, you know, obviously everything you'd expect, power tongue jack. This does have upgraded propane tanks um, with an on-demand water heater. Uh, they wanted to make sure to have plenty of propane, so it's nice to have the bigger tanks. Uh, the graphics are similar, although they have a few different uh, accents to them. So this has the green accents as part of the FLX package. But nice fiberglass front cap, uh, nice little rock guard up here to protect the uh, most abused part of the trailer. All right, so we'll come around to the door side of the trailer. So you have full pass-through uh, storage up front. They do this cool little extension cord winding around the globe uh, decal, which I like. You have nice slam latch baggage doors, nice and thick, and the magnets to hold them up. Uh, there are electric jacks uh, for the four, actually all five jacks on here are going to be electric. All right, I really like the awning, um, about the largest size you could use for this trailer. Um, they keep using Dometic brand awning, which I really like. That's the fastest out, the fastest in of the electric awning brands. You have the non-skid step here. Um, they are using right now 15 inch Goodyear off-road tires, so nice and beefy. Um, there is also an axle riser and torsion axle, so this has really nice ground clearance if you're off-grid or off on the trail somewhere. Um, the exterior is going to be a smooth fiberglass laminated wall. It does have the Asdell backer back here, which helps uh, reduce weight, keep this green, um, and help both. also help if you, uh, in the unfortunate event if you ever had any water leakage which hopefully you never have. Um, so you have a three-year structural warranty as well as a one-year limited warranty. This does come with the Com Comfort Tech package, the Explorer package, and the FLX package. All right. All right, a couple upgrades on the, on the back here. Uh, there is a spare tire, which is standard. There is an accessory hitch, too, so if you want to bring some bikes or anything on... Um, Anything on a platform, you can. Generally, these RV bumpers really are not built to hold much weight, so it's not advised to put you know three or four bikes on there. Whereas if they're in an accessory hitch, you should be good to go. Uh, roof ladder on here if you need to get up to the roof to do some maintenance. The roof is going to be TPO uh, membrane with a 12-year warranty. You have LED tail lights. Um, these do have backup lights built in as well. Um, so that's a nice upgrade when you're in reverse at the campground. Um, at least people will be able to see that this trailer's moving backwards. Um, okay, so part of the FLX package is you get Truma brand appliances. So this is a Truma on-demand water heater. This is uh, super nice, so you can set this and actually get on-demand water heater, on-demand water versus uh, waiting for hot water uh, with a traditional gas electric water heater. Um, it's controlled by one easy panel that does have an app, and there is a water filter built into this as well. Um, over here is kind of your normal hookups, your outside shower, black tank flush, your satellite and park cable um, to fill your water tank, and then you will have a 30 amp power supply. All right. So underneath the trailer, um, again, you have torsion axles so you don't have to deal with leaf springs, which uh, can break and get rusty and, and whatnot. Um, you also are enclosed underneath, and they do have 12 volt tank heaters. Um, on the holding tanks. So this is actually a pretty good um, cold weather unit. I wouldn't go, you know, into uh, zero degrees, but uh, it can it can withstand kind of colder nights. So in this pass-through storage compartment, um, you'll notice there's a button here. So this is actually the on-off button for your battery. So if you hold this for five seconds, it'll turn the battery on or turn the battery off. So that's nice. You can turn it off when you're going into storage, and then when you go into use, turn that on. There is also a 250 amp breaker. Uh, right here. Okay, so this part of the FLX package is solar, um, so 
you will have two solar panels on the roof for 380 watts of solar power. Um, you have a 30 amp charge controller. You have a lithium battery. Um, they use a Lithionics as the brand. It's UL listed. Um, it's a very good battery. It also does have a heater. That can be a problem with lithium batteries. Um, in the cold, they don't do so well if they're not heated. So Winnebago has a heater with this battery. Um, and you have a 3000 watt inverter. So that basically is taking your bet. Um, batteries, power, 12 volt power, converting it to AC power so you can run outlets, you can run your air conditioner, you can run your microwave. Very impressive. So let's check out the inside of this 2108. Okay, so we're inside the 2108 FPS. So how Winnebago is uh, unveiling the FLX line, they're building the 2108 FPS first, um, then they're venturing out into the DS, the BHS, the TB, some other floor plans, but right now the only unit in production is the 2108 FPS at time of this video, which is March 2nd. Um, so this is just a great floor plan. Um, nice deep slide out. You have a dinette, very comfortable. You can actually get four people around here. This is a dream dinette too. This will convert pretty easily into a bed. Uh, there is storage on the forward side. Um, this is of course kind of a couple's trailer, but if you had grandkids or somebody for a night, uh, this would do okay as a bed. All right, so let's talk about the air conditioner. This is a Truma brand air conditioner. So Truma is a company in Germany, really active in the RV industry in Europe. Um, these are just really good products. The water heater, the furnace, uh, this air conditioner. This air conditioner only draws about eight amps. So it's very low power draw. That's part of the reason they went to it. So you can actually run it off the batteries through the inverter. Um, it's also super quiet. I remember looking at one of these when Winnebago first prototyped it and they had the air conditioner running at a show and you didn't even realize. It's very, very quiet. Um, if you've owned RVs in the past, furnaces, air conditioners, they're actually, they're pretty loud. These Truma versions are a lot more efficient and quieter. Um, they're also nice because they all uh, work off one panel and they work off a smartphone app as well. Well, the controls do, they don't. But <laughs> um, Here's your TV. This does swing out, so you can get good viewing at the dinette and at the bed. Um, underneath here is a phone charger, wireless. So that's nice if you're like me. Um, you might struggle to remember to bring chargers and everything. Uh, this way you just drop the phone here and it'll charge. All right, so this can get used as a pantry. Three nice uh, deep openings. And then your Truma control is here. So. Basically, you have one panel for your air conditioner, furnace, and water heater. Uh, very intuitive, easy to use. Um, there also is, there's a lot more sophistication with this system as far as um, you can set basically your timer for when you want your air conditioner to turn on and off. Uh, Winnebago basically tested this unit for five days off-grid where they were running the air conditioner for four hours a day and they were able to maintain their battery. Um, so, yeah, very efficient. All right, in the bathroom, um, of course, you're a little bit smaller bathroom being a smaller trailer, but uh, decent room around the toilet. You have good linen storage, medicine cabinet, the mirror door. And Micro Mini does a great job getting a nice big shower, big roomy shower. So you get a lot of room around you, nice height. Um, so it's wonderful. There's also the shower miser system, which I won't get into too much, but basically it's a way to recirculate water so you're not using so much water when you're camping. So again, they're even thinking about the water aspect for, um, for off-grid dry camping use. All right, a couple upgrades in the kitchen. Uh, you now have your 10 cubic foot battery powered fridge. This is gonna be a convection microwave so you can microwave through here you can also bake so there's no there's not a traditional oven because they opted for more storage but if you need to bake cookies or anything you can actually do it through this convection system you have the three burner cooktop with the nice glass cover cool little light up knobs and then the storage is excellent They give nice deep drawers, a little spice rack. There is a flip up countertop on this side. And then um, you have outlets for your kitchen over here and you have USB chargers up here. Um, you do have a high rise faucet, and a nice big deep stainless steel sink. 
additional storage above. Over on this side, um, there's a bunch of different control panels. So this top one's gonna be your solar charge controller. Um, so that's really nice, it tells you what your, what battery level you have, how much solar is coming in, what temperature the battery is, um, if the solar is idle, running, whatever it's doing. Um, you can also get this on a smartphone app, which I would recommend doing. Your Xantrex inverter, so when you have the inverter on, um, there's tons of settings built into here. Again, this also has a phone app. And then this is your traditional um, control panel for your awning, your slide out, your tank heater, um, your awning, your awning lights, your holding tank monitor to see how full your holding tanks are. All right, and then bedroom, just great. You know, it's a walk around bed. You can actually reach the ends if you need to make the bed. There's nice storage underneath here. Big tall wardrobes on each side. Um, up here is kind of your little ledge for whatever you need, um, but it would work for a CPAP as there is outlets up here. Would be a good spot to get rid of your phones um, and have them charge overnight. Um, there are also uh, 110 outlets and USB on this side of the bed. And nice big windows. And then there's a curtain, which is great. A lot of these brands, they tighten it up too much and you don't really have privacy if you have guests. This, you at least get a curtain so you get a little bit of privacy. Um, but anyways, that's all I got about this uh, FLX. But if you got more questions, give us a call. Again, this is a brand new 2022 Micro Mini 2108 Flex for sale at Collier RV. Thanks for watching.